In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix when a phone number doesn't show up in iMessage or in FaceTime on your iPhone or on the iPad. Let's begin. Of course, if you mean by this that you cannot see the contact info, you only see the phone number, then apparently something is going on with the contacts. Like this is common sense. Make sure that you assign a person to that phone number. But in case you cannot see the phone number actually, then there are a couple of fixes like resetting stuff and like going from like zero to actually make it work. So let me show you how you can do a couple of those things. Now, the basic thing that you can try out at first is, is to simply turn off and back on FaceTime as well as uh, the iMessages. So you go to the settings, of course, and in the main section, you scroll down to find uh, messages and FaceTime. So you click on messages. The first option is iMessage. So you can turn it off and wait a bit and turn it back on. And the same thing applies to the FaceTime. So you come back. The FaceTime settings section is right under the messages. You click on it and FaceTime is right there as well. And you can disable it if you want to, like turn it off and then wait a bit and turn it back on. Sometimes such a quick restart or reset makes things work. And it's usually just a glitch or bug that is behind the, the way or that is behind the whole problem that you cannot see the phone number. Another way to try out is to not to simply turn it off and back on, but to sign out with your Apple ID and then sign back in. And in the very same settings section, you, for example, in FaceTime, there is uh, the all of the options and you click on your Apple ID. And once you click it, it gives you the option to change location, sign out or cancel to come back. So try signing out and then wait, of course, and then sign back in. The same thing you can try for the messages. So in the messages, if you click on the option which says send and receive, there you see all of the personal information of yours. And at the bottom, there is the Apple ID in a blue color. And if you click on it, the same options, you can sign out using that. So you click sign out and wait a bit. You, of course, go through all of the steps if it ever asks you for anything. And then you wait a bit and sign back in after at least like a minute or so just to make things settle a little bit. And that could actually fix the problem. And a lot of times it does. If you want to, you don't really have to sign out just from the iMessages and FaceTime. You can sign out from the iCloud entirely from the device if you want to. And you do that just by going to the settings and at the top you can see your name you click it and there is also your personal information and at the bottom uh, a red tab which says sign out so you click it at there type in your password just and do everything that it asks you to do and you pretty much sign out from the entire device from your iCloud and Apple ID another resetting uh, that you can do is to not simply reset and erase your iPhone, even though this would definitely help, but we would like to preserve your personal or like data, like photos and stuff. So uh, you can reset in network settings and this only resets the Wi-Fi passwords, APN, VPNs, and all the things that have to do with the network, including the FaceTime and iMessages. And this could cause the phone number to show up in case it doesn't for you. That's that's like the problem we try to fix right now, of course. And in order to do that, you have to go to the settings and go to the general section and there you will see the reset. So you, of course, go there and you click it and there you don't click on the reset all of the things. You just reset the network settings. But just like I said, keep in mind that all the all of the Wi-Fi passwords are gonna be forgotten, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to like retype them one more time in case you want to use the same Wi-Fi network. But I think it is worth it because it could very easily fix the problem for you. Then another basic thing you can try out is to simply restart your device. Of course, you know how to do that, but it can help as well. Like many times is just about those simple things that actually fix the problem because it's not really a problem it's just a bug or a glitch that causes the phone numbers not to show up on your device so 
doing things like this could definitely help the problem. Another way is, is to update to the latest iOS. Like, even if you're updating to a really small version and there is nothing mentioned about fixing the problem that you have, it can very easily help you solve that. Like, it doesn't have to be mentioned in the description, it doesn't have to be stated there, but the newest firmware and software version does have like some small improvements in the background and this could be one of it. Or at least it just resets the device, just like it turns it off and back on and it just goes like from the thing once again. So yeah, new software update could definitely help that as well. And now we're getting close to the end of the video. I really do hope that it helped you. I really hope that you tried at least one thing, even though it's not really anything advanced or like really something that you wouldn't hear before, but it's great to have everything together to try it out. And hopefully, I really do hope that it helps you and fixes your problem. I want to say thank you very much for watching and your support. Leave a thumbs up if you want to and if it helped you. And you can also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like these. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys later.